Welcome back. Random TV Reviews, your girl, Ladad. And it's your boy, Stanley. Alright, coming in with this week's Queen Sugar, it is season 4, episode 12. Here! Yeah. We're not going to be premiering this week. We got a whole lot of skit we need to take care of and a whole lot of housework we need to do. But for you all to come back every week, we appreciate y'all. Like never yeah. before, if you're new to the channel, you just stumbled across this video, go ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button. It's free 99. Yeah. I keep telling y'all at some point the price is going to go up. Mm -hmm. But for right now, I'm just chilling in the cut. Yeah. So go ahead and rate the video. Thumbs up, thumbs down. At this point, it don't even matter. Boom, boom, if I've already boom, been counting. Boom, boom, boom. boom, boom. So, coming off the leg of last week, this week was kind of a calmer episode, but you know we never can win at yeah. any freaking thing, so a whole nah. lot of skit was going on that really just, uh, okay. So, Nova, let's get her out the way. Nova decided that she was going to pay Ralph Angel a visit. Now that she's kind of gotten in good with Charlie, you know, she's on a winning streak with winning her mm -hmm. family back over. So she went over there to Ra. Ra ain't here for he none of that. He still ain't still nobody. Um, Blue wanted to go outside and greet his Anova because he was like, it's been a long time since I see my Anova. <laughs> so Ralph Angel was like, no, Blue. Your auntie is sick. I was like, darn, Ralph Angel. Well, you gonna lie to him like that? Well, she kind of is sick, but, you know. Um, not yeah, a, not, not the sick that she is. <laughs> that he can catch it. <laughs> you have a pop. I want to see my aunt Nova. I haven't seen her in a long time. You said I just like her, too. So, <laughs> Blue ain't get to see his auntie and whatnot. <laughs> so, later on in the episode, we see that Ralph Angel was over there with Dollar and Blue together. And last week, I didn't actually talk about it, but last week, you remember Madonna said that she wasn't even ready to see Blue at the moment. And I was like, I was wondering, was it had something to do with the fact that now she pretty much knows who his father is and you kind of have that whole rape thing going on where you don't want to look at the product or what had happened and all mm -hmm. that. So I'm glad to see that this week she's actually out there playing with her son. And Dollar looks the best. Yeah. And I have seen her look in probably a few seasons, to yeah. be honest she with you. She didn't look like a crackhead this episode. No, she didn't look yeah. like it she was always look, me. Yeah, or she, she didn't don't look, look like pitiful. She didn't look, she didn't like she relapsed or anything like no, that. No, she looked darn good. Yeah. So, um, hopefully she's back on track doing her steps and all that. And, and I want her to go into some therapy and I'm going to leave that alone. Yeah. Because y'all swear that we hate dollars so much we want to see her burn up and go to hell. Nah, no, that's we, not true. We want to see her succeed. No. Yeah, we want to see her succeed. And here's the thing. When we say the stuff that we say about Dollar, I'm going to kind of go on a rant like um James did last week <laughs> and kind of just put everything into perspective. If you've been watching this since season one and you saw how Dollar's, how she moved, you may be able to see what we have seen since day one. Mm -hmm. And then, because we were calling it out way before the way mama before came that. into town. Yep. When her parents came into town and her mama and daddy blew up the spot. And they were like, wait a minute. You've been around this man and his family all these years. And you haven't told them the truth yet? Yep. Oh, and you mean to tell me, oh, I know what this is. You probably got these poor people down here thinking that your family abandoned you. Yeah, they try we, to we help you. Evil people. That we're evil. Hmm. We're non-supportive. When we have in fact done everything for you until we couldn't do it no more. Yep. Till we couldn't search for you no more. Till, um, till we couldn't pawn that nest no more. Till we couldn't give you no more money no more. We, till we couldn't search for you no more. You got these people thinking that we didn't do nothing for you, did you? She had to hold, had to hang her head. Yep. Because she manipulated the whole Baudelaire family yep. at that point in order to have her way. Yep. So that's why we say what we say because Dollar moves in a way that gets her way. Yeah, and so and we see it. We call that bush get out. Yeah, and it's not that she do. is being <laughs> manipulative. She has a manipulative being. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like some people embody being what they are. Yeah. That's what she is. Yeah, she don't got to think about it. It's not it's, conscious no more. It's subconscious. Yeah, like you see somebody like a slick car salesman. Yeah. They're not being slick. That's who they are. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's, and, it, and unfortunately, it works. And it works for certain people. Yeah. So, later on in the episode, um, Ralph Angel had had a conversation with Dollar and told Dollar that, you know, Nova tried to come by. She tried, you know, 
talk to me. I curbed her. <laughs> and I love what Dollar said to um, Ralph Angel. He was like, Yeah, me too. You cannot keep that woman away from our son. Mm -hmm. That boy loves her and she loves him. I'm mad as hell at her too. Yeah. But at the end of the day, that boy needs all the love, love around him mm -hmm. that he can get. And I said, you better come on with it, dollar. Yeah. So that kind of went, you know, had Raw's wheels turning, whatever. And one thing I can say about Raw and Dollar together, they both need to grow the fuck up. Yeah. Because Raw is a, a grown child, too. Mm -hmm. So ain't, ain't like we taking her, um, his side over her side, none of that. Both of them together is a freaking mess to me. Yep. <laughs> they are codependent on each other. Yeah, but we said a hundred times to you that we can't stand when parents use their kids as collateral damage to try to stick it to somebody else. Yeah. So you know, in Rod's mind, if he can't see, if if she can't see blue, that's gonna hurt her like he hurt him, like she hurt him. But it doesn't work that way. The kids is always the one that gets damaged because of that stuff. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So moving forward in the episode, there was a time where the whole family had came together, and we'll talk about it later. But Blue went to go sit by his Auntie Nova. And, right again. <laughs> and Auntie Nova did what she felt like she needed to do at that time because she knew that Rod wasn't cool with it. Said, Blue, I think you need to go over there and sit with your daddy. So Ralph Angel took Blue to the bathroom. And in the bathroom, they had a grown-up conversation. Blue was a grown-up. That's what I was getting ready to say. Blue was a grown-up. And Blue was like... Are you mad? With, are you mad with Auntie Nova? <laughs> and um, in so many words, Rob was like, "Yeah, you know, she did some things to hurt me. She did some bad things. Blah blah blah." So Blue was like, "You know what? Me and my friend, we had we had a falling out too over a game, but we realized that we had more to gain by making up than we were getting being mad with each other." Yeah. And that made Ralph Angel think about everything, and now. Blue can go sit by his auntie Nova. Yeah. I was like, okay, now, they still not cool. Yeah. But everything that was said from Dollar and Blue. But I think it, it's coming, though. It's coming. Yeah, it's coming. At some point. So, Unvi. Unvi <laughs> ends up knocking on Miss Nova's door. And I was like, what the fuck is going on here? Scared the skit out of her, too. Scared me. Scared she starts out. She said, come in. Um, Auntie wants Jimmy Dale's address. I was like, okay. Said, what you gonna do? I said, you fitting to go over there. I said, she about to kill this motherfucker. Mm -hmm. That's what I but thought. But she was like, you you brought him into my life? Mm -hmm. You can help me get rid of him. I was like, yeah. what we about to do to Jimmy Dale? <laughs> well, um, Nova was like, you know what, Auntie, I'm not gonna give you the address. I need to drive you over there. Yeah. I was like, oh, now we coming with a whole bunch of restrictions now that everything you no know, came out the gate. But, anyway. but I, I hundred percent agree with. It. I was like, ain't no way in hell on body to go see Jimmy Dale by herself. Yeah, because he was gonna whoop up. Yeah, on he her. was gonna whoop up on her. Yeah. So yeah, that was a great idea. So she finally agreed to let Nova take her on over there to Jimmy Dale's, and. Nova was trying to have a conversation with her on the way, but um, no, um, I had already said, I talk to you if I feel like it, and if I don't, don't push don't. the issue. Yeah. So they had a little chit chat conversation on the way over there, and and Nova gets it now. They ended up over at the house. Jimmy Dale comes out there, and you could tell. That his presence again was getting ready to take Vi into that place. Mm -hmm. But she stood flat footed yeah, she did. on his porch. Yeah. And she said, Here's the box. This is not mine to carry no more. Yeah, it's your this burden. It's your to carry. burden again. Yeah. Of everything that you did to mm -hmm. me. Now I just want them to address it flat out. Yeah, just say it. What did he just, do? Just I mean, say we it. know what he did, but just tell us. Say it. Yeah. Tell us what the hell happened that night. What happened? Well, Jimmy Dale ain't for none of it. And he basically trying to read her down. And she's reading him down. And eventually, she went to walk up off the step. And I said, don't you turn your back on. You uh -huh. walk backwards until yeah. you get to that car. Then you turn your Watch back. Watch that ninja. Because he, he can't be trusted. I said, he going to bust in the back of the head with that box. Huh. But instead of him busting her in the head with the box, he took the box and crushed it on the ground. Yeah. Scared her and over half to death. 
So that's when Aunt Vi was like, you know what? She had an awakening, boy. That's when she had her color purple moment. All yeah. my life, I had to fight. Uh. So she went up there. <laughs> and she ran him for filth. Yeah. She said, oh, look at your place. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got it. I got it. You had to get yourself all nice and dressed up just to come and see me. But you ain't nothing. You ain't you, got nothing. You ain't never gonna be nothing. Yep. I mean, she was say you broke. This is your house. <laughs> this is your life. And I'm like, go. She was oh, like, I don't want to got the business. I got the money. I got the love. I got the husband. And Just, you ain't nothing. But I actually, I kind of got scared a little bit because I was like, he going to haul off and he going to hit her That's in the That's what I minute. thought too. He going to hit her in a minute. But man. if it will not for Nova having that cell phone out. Oh, the cell phone is a new freaking nine millimeter, man. It sure will. Yup. So they were about to leave and get in the car. And all of a sudden, this girl that had been beat to skin mm -hmm. comes walking up on the yard with a bag of groceries. We immediately knew what that was. That yep. was his new love thing that comes in the house, does everything she needs to do to make sure that he's taken care of, mm -hmm. and he whoops up on her. Yep. Unvi ended up talking to this girl and rescuing this girl from Jimmy Dale because she knew exactly how it was going down. Yep. And she even told her, said, what did he do to you? Oh, the food was too hot. This was done wrong. Mm -hmm. the, the, the sheets were pulled too tightly. So she knew all of his yeah. little triggers. She was looking like, how did she know like, that? Yeah. <laughs> so she ended up taking this girl to a shelter and giving awesome. this girl a job to get yeah. her from underneath of Jimmy Dale. And she told the people at the shelter, if she ever tries to go back, y'all call me and let me know. Yeah. So I thought that was really That was good. powerful. And I, 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 I used to say this at one time, but I don't believe it this way no more, that God take you through that so that I you know. can reach that person. I don't believe that's the case. But I believe this case is that whatever you go through, it gives God something to use later on to bless somebody else's life. To save that girl's life that she went through that and able to mm -hmm. freaking pass that on and get her out. And I hope that she don't go back. Because I told that lady, said, if she go back, think about well, you better call me. And then she said, and when you get out of here and get yourself straight, come on, devise, prize, prize, and I got a job waiting for you, man. Indeed. That was powerful. powerful. So she, so she my gave little, her a solution to yeah. afterwards. Yeah, because I was in the tent, she probably wasn't working. So she probably was depending on um, Jimmy Dale's income. Oh, yeah, because they yeah. like him. Like, and she was young, you Yeah, uh-huh. She was young. Yep, so he had her in full control, so on by. And she probably got daddy issues. Yeah. So oh, that's, that's it's, a, it's a be a blessing to be in a position to be a blessing. Yeah, that's 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 yeah. our whole freaking. Um, that's our mission in yeah. life. Exactly. So let's go ahead and talk about Charlie and this whole thing with the fire and this old world oh, energy. Man. Okay, Miss Ruby Wu, um, the devil <laughs> paid Miss um Charlie a visit. They had a whole bunch of exchanges and pleasantries about Jacob. And she was like, I don't know what you got on my son, but I don't like it and you're going to pay for it. Okay. So she got interrupted by a um, visitation from the police department. The police basically told Charlie, look, we need to ask you a few questions about the fire. All in all, they're spinning this skit all, all the right. way around to oh. try to make it look like since Charlie was struggling with the business at first, Maybe this is a quick money grab. Yeah. Maybe somebody set intentionally set this on fire so that y'all can do insurance fraud. Maybe your brother did it because of this, because this was left Or maybe your torture. son did it because he was just recently charged for arson. Charlie yeah. said, uh uh, wait a minute, first of freaking out. Yeah. I'm rich B. I got the paper. I don't need this book. Yeah. So even if it was failing and going down to the ground, I'm, I'm good. Still good. I'm good. <laughs> and she says, you know what? Fuck all this. My lawyer. Yeah, y'all fitting to get up out of here. Don't talk to me until my lawyer sitting here with me. Yep. I said that's the way you do it. <laughs> yeah. And all they could do was go. That's why we don't like to call the cops. Mm, Cause they make everything. <laughs> yeah, you, you become the freaking person that they want to try to question down. Mm -hmm. So that's why when we see stuff, we act like we don't see it and keep it moving. Just like just like right now, our neighbor is not home. He ain't been home now for what? Uh, two, almost two months. Almost two months. And you don't want to dig into it because if something did, it did happen to him, I don't think that's wrong because he had some people coming over there, yeah. cutting his grass and coming and looking around and make sure everything's straight. But if we didn't see that and you go and call the cops and, and say they he, he, he had something, yeah, and they're going to be questioning us down like we did something to him. Hmm. 
I'm like, no, I call. Yeah, I call. Why, if I did it, why would I call? Well, some people do do some that. Some people do Yeah, they do uh -huh. that. Yeah, so, so I don't call them because I don't want to become a suspect. Yeah. So in the episode, Prosper had let um, Charlie know, listen, I got some skit for you right here. Long story short, a whole lot of the black voters, they have been purged off of the voter roll. That's crazy. And then over there in the um, Latino community, they don't change the polling location. Ten miles away. Knowing that a lot of them don't have the transportation to yep. get to the new polling place. And they did it like a week out from time to vote. Yep. So Charlie was like, what's really going on here? Nova had looked into the old world energy thing. Well, long story short, come to find out, old world energy is just a face. It kind of like the, the face of this bigger picture yeah. of this imaginary um, business that's moving in shadows and secrets. Yeah, for some people that they don't know. The Illuminati. Yeah. It's pushing all that. And Charlie was like, what the fuck is going on here? Like, old world energy is the shell mm -hmm. of something that's like this great force behind them. And we don't know what this is. Mm -hmm. And we have no connections to anybody. And they only came up with one name. And, of course, they don't have any information on it yet. But if this one name doesn't lead them to something, they have an enemy <laughs> in the likeness that they have never yeah, seen unseen before. Unseen enemy, yeah. Shout out to the have but, um, not. but at the same time, if they was that powerful, why you got to do these tricks? And like Prosper said, that's, he said the same old tricks, just a different tactic. Yep. And if they were so powerful and running the town so much, why do you have to do all that to win? Because you know that there's more black folk there that's going to get y'all in the office. So that's why you got to do it. You got you to gotta cheat. And, Char and Charlie said, I don't mind losing. That's right. I don't mind. And that's me. I don't mind losing. But let the fight but be fair. But let the fight be fair. Don't do all this crap to manipulate the system to win. That's how I, we believe that the current president is in administration right now. But we don't do politics over here. We just talk about the show. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't want to get you, you started. My whole mood I don't want to get you started. Did you see my whole mood change? I don't want to get you started on that. Okay. So, Micah. And he's going to be the last and we're going to get up out of here because yeah. I'm hungry. Micah. It's almost time for him to go off to college. So, Charlie is planning this... Um, this um, go away party mm -hmm. and a celebration party for him to go off to Harvard. The entire family came over to the house. It was the most depressing party I've ever seen in my freaking life. <laughs> I said, darn. I mean, and then I we kind of see why, though. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Mr. Micah has had a change of heart. He doesn't want to go to Harvard anymore. Mm -hmm. He wants to pursue his love and his passion for photography. He wants to stay in NOLA. Yep. He wants to go to a HBCU. And he wants he wants to be a Charlie and Nova combination. Yeah, for, pretty for, much. for that community. Yeah. For that community and whatnot. And Charlie lost, lost her motherfucking yeah, mind. Man. She, she was clean look, off. She him. was looking for anybody to blame for this sudden change of heart. She looked over there at Nova. No, Nova said, like, I, I don't know. Looked at Kiki. He says that this is the first. Yeah, I, I just know. found out about this right here with y'all. Yeah. And but everybody was happy for him though. Everybody was happy except for his mama. And she had very valid points. She did. She did. Um. But at the same time, you can't push something on him that he's going to be miserable doing. Exactly. Because he's not going to excel in it. Yeah. He's going to do it just to appease you. Mm -hmm. You're probably going to go to college and party, party, party. Mm -hmm. Get hung up with these crazy folk yep. because he doesn't want to be there. Or spend up the money and end up getting out of college and not pursuing the very major that he that he took on. Yes. Yeah. Going passionate. But like Charlie said, Charlie was like, buck education it doesn't have anything to do with having a college degree these days. It's about the connections. So freaking true. Yeah. And honestly, Harvard is going to give him connections that no other college is going to be mm -hmm. able to give him. And she compared it to, you see these moves that the Landry's are able to make out here in this world? Mm -hmm. Harvard would give you that. Yeah. And she's right. Yeah. But he still will have some red tape. But it would make his life just uh, maybe a little a, bit easier. Just a yeah. little bit easier, but he's still gonna have the red tape. Yes, because he's gonna be rubbing shoulders with the right people mm -hmm. 
to be able to make some things happen yeah. that your degree at HBCU may not be able to do. It's going to make things a little harder for no, uh, for Michael, but yeah, it's almost it's that catch twenty two because who paying for your education though? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's that catch twenty two, and she is pissed, and she hurt Michael to his core. Yeah. But the thing about it, I was kind of glad that from last week, you know, he was sitting there with the rest of the crew, and he didn't have no clue what he wanted to do. And then next week, he clear. Like, I know what I want to do, and this is what I'm going to pursue. Yeah. But I hope, I hope by next episode that, you know, because next week is season finale. Is that, it? Yeah. Good, because I'm tired uh, of Charlie. Because Char I hope Charlie have a change of heart. Like, I'm sorry I blew up on you. I meant what I said. I meant what I, I said, but I'm going to let you follow your heart and follow your passion. And I and I got you. Yeah. But that's pretty much where it ended off at. Um <laughs> it it was I told you, they take us up and they take us way, way. Yeah, because they plan on slam dunking us next week. That's yeah. why. Yeah. They gonna slam dunk. I, from the previews they look like they're gonna slam dunk us cause Yeah, Calvin like gonna, came through. It look like it's gonna be a whole lot more losing next week too. Yeah. Yeah. And as much as I love the show, this whole losing thing I just can't keep doing. So may hopefully tricking us and you know. Yeah. I'ma need a good win. At least let Charlie get in the office. But as but for real, for real, maybe I don't want her to get in the office. Cause just more problems. Yeah. And it's gonna and it's gonna put the spotlight on her even more. Yeah. That's man. more attacks. Now you this thing you know they're gonna try to dig more into her past through that book. Mm -hmm. And they're gonna probably do some research back on her back when she's living in California. Probably all the way back when she was a teen. You know, she used to do this and do that, and drunk driving and all that, you know, stuff that every teen do yeah, to try to yeah. use against her while she in office so she won't have no power. Mm -hmm. But the most of all, I'm going to say this in closure, just all like right. the bastard said. You know what? I just hope that the, the black folk that get her in oh, continues to support her 100% when she get in there. Don't turn their back on them. Now, I'm not talking about the former because the farmers ain't even doing skit right now. They sure are not. They ain't doing skit, but I'm talking about the ones that are right there helping her right now. I hope they have her back all the way to the end. Yeah, because we do like a good win, and then when the win is done, you be like, Yeah, hey. uh huh. Like, where y'all at now? Mm. Y'all don't come to none of the meetings to vote. <laughs> y'all don't do no community efforts. Nope, none of that stuff. Y'all just become MIA. Yep, straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. To, uh, to, to the holler.